Shalom, Yashrallah. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth and the salutations to all the Akim pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. It's a brother, it's a brother from the Great Millstone camp here in Chicago and Lord willing, it's an edifying lesson. All right. I'm going to start off with the book of Math, uh, Mark. This is the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 35. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. All right. So when you come into this truth, you know if you can, can you grab Sirach to him, you know about uh, the temptation. Yeah. So when you come into this truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, into this doctrine, you know, this teaching, all right, be prepared to be tempted, and definitely be prepared uh, to lose everything. All right, your loved ones, all right, your, your wife, your children, your family members, those of your household, all right, are going to be your foes, as Matthew 10 says, okay? This is uh, verse 36, Mark 8 and 36, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, right? So, you know, if you put off the Lord, you know, for this world, and let's say you do gain it, like, you know, let's say you're like Jay-Z or Oprah who got a billion dollars, you know what I'm saying? What is that compared to, to your actual soul, your spirit, man? You're going to lose all that and your life. Quick one. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Because uh, uh, scripture says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death. That's it. In the book of Proverbs. God. Hey, you can't, these people can't, they, their riches they, is not what's going to save them. Yeah, exactly. The, ver <laughs> the next verse says it. Mark 8 and 37, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? You know, so you could have a billion dollars. Shit, you could have trillions of dollars. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's not going to deliver you, man. All right? That's not going to save you. Only going after and following righteousness, you know, every day. You see, going after Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Seeking the Lord's face. Doing the Lord's will. Not your own will. Not the shit that your flesh wants to be in. You know, the pleasures, that is. But doing the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, Faith and works is going to get you delivered, man. Not That's the right. shit in this world. That's right. I got a quick one. Oh, the, well, that's the rock. Sure. Two and one. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. All right. So there's going to be times you're going to be in sticky situations, you know, and, and, and you got to really trust in the Lord and, 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 and cast off the cares of, of this world, man. All right, cause they, they what scripture says, love not the love not. Let me get it real quick. I'll Ken. go back to that Sirach. Can love not the things of this world. Sirach. I'll get this real quick while you yeah. look. This is Luke twenty one and nineteen, and this is our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai speaking. Who you know who the world ignorantly refers to as JC, and it reads, in your patience, uh, Luke twenty one and nineteen, in your patience possess you your souls. All right, so when you're turned down. Uh, to a low estate, you know, take it cheerfully and, and be patient, all right? It's like we're all going through a test, all right? And the Lord's, you know, testing our faith if we're going to uh, rely on Him. You see that? All the way to the end. That's why Sirach 4 and 28 says, Fight for the truth unto, de to, unto death, and the Lord shall fight for you, man. All right? So we're going to be tested. Esau Edom is going to come down with great wrath. A lot of, a lot of uh, people are going to be in these concentration camps, all right, a lot of people are going to go through the famine and destruction, but remember the scriptures. All right, the Lord got us. He said he's going to feed us during these times. We're going to have abundance. He says, my servant shall eat, drink, and rejoice during Jacob's trouble, man, and we'll be delivered out of it, you see? But in your patience, possess you yourself. So take it cheerfully, all right, knowing that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to make a way because the scriptures tell you that he's not going to put more than you're, that you can bear. So whatever that you're going through, believe me. All right, that's your perfect measure of what you can actually bear. And the Lord got you. There's going to be a way out of it, man. Just continue in the faith and trust of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, let me get I had the uh, first John, but since you said that. Oh, sure. This is 1 Corinthians 10. And 13 says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as, as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So the Lord don't give you more than you can bear, like the brother says. All right? He don't give you more than you can handle. 
So hey, hey the scripture says what? Cast your cares upon him for he cares for you. Yeah. Hey, it's hell with everything in, in this world, man. Now, uh uh Brother Murph said it said it best, man. And, um it was about this workout tip. You know, but you can relate to uh, uh, spiritually as well. He says your your job will leave you. You can leave you. Your wife can leave you. You can be going. Uh, you could be going. You cannot miss a day of work. You could be fucking bringing your wife uh, flowers every fucking Friday. You could raise your kids to be the best, and they could grow up to be fucking degenerates and hate you. He said everything will leave, could leave you the, uh, on this side. He said, but but your your body, it will only leave you if you leave it. The spirit, it will only leave you if you leave it. You get you get to uh, uh, what the scripture says. Um, let no man take thy crown. Oh yeah, I got you. Revelation. All right. Yeah. Hey, 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 it's a hell with this the, the, this world, man. Hey, this world doesn't love the Lord, man. No. Why would you want to yeah. be a part of it? Man, yeah. That let me get that too for you because that's that's a great scripture. That's Proverbs eight. Uh, um, this is Proverbs eight at the very end. Uh, right to the point. Oh, no, actually, I'll start at 35. Proverbs 8 and 35. For whoso findeth me, you know, that's Yahweh Shai, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord Yahweh, our Heavenly Father. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. And that's why they all, they are on that YOLO lifestyle. Mm hmm you know, they can't see, because the scripture says, seeing all these things being dissolved, one man and a person that you ought to be. Yep. We see this, hey, we don't have a continual city here, but we mm -hmm. seek one to come. That's right. And we see that, hey, these riches, hey, your car, your clothes, your your career, is not going to save you. He said, all these things are going to be dissolved. Yep. So what man and person are you ought to be? All right, are you going to, you can't serve two, uh, 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 two, masters. two masters, man. All right, you, hey, you either uh, serve the Lord, you get hot or cold, man. Yeah. All right, the Lord ain't dealing with lukewarm men. Mm -hmm. All right, he's going to spew you out. Right. I got a quick one. Yeah, go ahead. This is First John 2 and 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If, hey, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yep. Because this world is complete wickedness, man. It promotes death. It's a death style. It's not a lifestyle. All right? Everything that's outside the scriptures is a death style, man. They, yeah. Everything that they teach is contrary to the scriptures. Right. Uh, verse 16 says, For all that, that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the, lo the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Hey, the Lord hates all these things. And we are to uh, 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 to seek and what, what uh, ways to please Him. Right. Not please our flesh. We got to wait. You know, motherfuckers wake up and shit. How, what, what am I gonna do today? Shit, you in the spirit, you should wake up and how am I? How what can I do for the Lord today? Yeah. You know, hey, prepare thy soul for temptation, cause hey, it, and constantly endure, because it's it's a it's a uh, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Everyone would do it, but you had to actually put your flesh under subjection, take accountability. And then no one likes to doing and no one likes doing any of those things. They they, they serve their flesh. Con, this is uh, Sirach seventeen and twenty four. But unto them that repent, he granted them return, and comforted those that failed in patience. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before His face and offend less. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for He would lead thee out of darkness into the light of health and hate thou abomination vehemently all right you gotta hate the things of this world man because all the things of this world is a death style you know mm -hmm. you want to return to your you want to acknowledge your sins and, and seek the lord's face and repent man turn back to him all right and and be his delight lord willing you know do everything you possibly can to be the lord's light like the brother said, waking up every morning saying, like, man, what can I do for the Lord today? You know what I'm saying? And that's why in Sirach 37, 15, it tells you, above all this, pray that the Lord direct thy, thy, thy you know, let me just get it uh, in truth, basically. This is a Sirach 37, verse 15. And above all this, pray to the Most High that He will, he will direct thy way in truth. You see? Because, see, those that endure to the very end, those are the ones that are going to be saved. Those that are walking in this truth, 
those that are holding fast uh, to to, uh, to this crown, man. Because at the end, you know, if we make it, if we endure, Lord willing, hey, the Lord's going to give us that crown of immortality, an incorruptible crown. See what 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 is man today that gains this world, that gains a uh, uh, that gains uh, a world of that's corruption, man. It's corruptible. It's going to have an end. But this is Revelation three and eleven, and this is our Lord and Savior again, Yahweh Shai. And it reads, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast that uh, which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Even you yourself, man. All right? That's why you have to examine yourself every day, man. The nigger in the mirror, you. Mm -hmm. Don't let yourself slow you down. All right? Don't give yourself over to your flesh and to the pleasures of this flesh, man. All right? Because it, it's, it's, uh, it's pulling you uh, little by little away from the Lord, man. All right? Spend more time with the Lord. Sup with the Lord. Read. Do more things. When you first came into the truth, you were more on fire for the Lord, man. Get that fire back up, you know? Because there's going to be time for all that folly that you want to get into, man. We're seeking that continuing city like Hebrews 13 and 14, the brother quoted. All right? There's no end in that kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, that Lord willing that if we do endure, we will be joint heirs. So fuck all this shit in the world, man. All right? Be prepared to lose it all. Why? Because we're gaining Yahweh Shai, man. Like Paul, you know, I count everything dung. Oh, I got that. Bring it out, Bible Kusha. That's the spirit. It's like, yeah. I screenshot it. Right before the lesson. Oh, it's yeah. Philippians. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> this is uh, the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but laws for the excellency of the knowledge of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, my Lord. From whom I have suffered the loss of all things, yep. and do count them but dung, that I may win in Hamashiach. That's it. Hey, we hey, to hell with everything, man. All right, hey, this, the brother brought out. Uh, you lose that life to save that life. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, seek ye the kingdom of heaven, and all these things will be added unto you. Let me get Job, because Job, man, his wife would his wife say, "Why don't you just curse the most high and die?" Right. You know, because you're going to fall, uh, uh, prepare that soul for temptations. You, see, this brother that come in, they already have a family, and, and they're scared now that their family might look at them weird. Hey, because he's growing out with a beard. He ain't getting no lining. He ain't getting no pork. You know, he, and now he actually fearing the Lord. And, they, hey, and now he don't want his family or his kids or his moms to look at him sideways. And a lot of people... Man, I know this one dude that fell out because he don't like the way he said. I agree with everything you say. He said, but it's, man, the way y'all talk about the women, man, because I love my mom. <laughs> yeah, he, he that's what what, what caused him to fall out is because the, these hey, these motherfuckers they they put that queen of heaven spirit on these men, man. Mm -hmm. That's that that worldly that, that's that Esau bullshit, man. That he put out in this world, man. Hey, this world has nothing to offer you but death. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, again, Proverbs 8, all they that love me hate death, like the Lord said, you see? This world, they they love this shit, man. All right, that's why they, they're in that YOLO spirit. You only live once, and they live it up while they still can, not knowing that after death, the judgment comes, yep. and then they'll come back to the earth to live it out. But no, this time, we're at the end, you see? All right, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, we are the children of Israel, man. We are at the end, and the Lord is coming to save His elect, the elect of the nation of Israel. Starting with 144,000 men, 12,000 from every tribe, and one-third of our people will be delivered. You see that? But two-thirds of you are going to be destroyed, all right? Because the Lord already knew what you would uh, choose in the latter end, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's just constantly wickedness. You keep coming back, and, you know, why should you be stricken anymore like Isaiah, you know, the first chapter? All right, you just revolt more and more, man. All right, you guys are fucking stiff head, hard headed, and the only solution for you death. is death by pain. That's right. All right, like that good example that Elder Yaki made uh, at camp the other day uh, uh, to dwell in dor in torments, man. To be in that fire, not like a little oh, ow, you know, and then it fades away. No, you're gonna be there feeling that shit for a while. The Lord's gonna keep that spirit in that body so you could suffer. For everything you fucking did, man. And and, and you went up against Yahweh Shai, man. You rejected the Lord. Alright? Who died for our sins while we were all sinning, man. Do you understand that? 
what the what the Lord did for us, what He suffered for us to bring us back to the Father. Two thirds of you gotta go, man, and that's why death by pain is gonna come to you. That's right. I okay, got uh, James one and twelve says, "Blessed is the man that endured temptation, for when he is tried." He shall receive the crown of life, yep. which the Lord had promised to them that love him. Okay. All right, how you show the Lord you love him? Hey, love is an action. All right, that's why scripture says these people's lips are are, are, are near me, but their heart is far, far from, from me. me. Yeah. They don't really know how to truly serve the Lord. And when they, when you present to them, hey, this is how you truly serve the Lord, hey, you got to put your flesh in subjection. You got to, hey, uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, prepare thyself for temptations. It says in Sirach, we're about to get it again. But they fold. It was too much for them to bear, man. They got that, that spirit of Cain. Oh, it's too much. I, yeah. I can't. Simple yeah. ass niggas. I can quick one. Uh, back to Sirach 2 and 3. It says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in a furnace of adversity. So going through these hey, going through these temptations is really just making you better. It's more, you're becoming more presentable unto the Lord. But these people, what? They'd rather just stick to their field. They'd rather be wise and, uh, and, and evil, man. They're wise to do evil. God. Again, this is Yahweh Shai speaking in Matthew 11, verse 28 and 29 and 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light, but for two-thirds it's grievous, man. All right? They don't want to deal with the Lord. They don't want to know the Lord, man. And, and that's why when the Lord comes, He's going to punish all the ungodly and those that don't know Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You see, and that's why we glory in knowing and understanding Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and His judgments, you see. Because the Lord, He made it known unto us, you see. And we're trying to wake up our people. We're trying to fill the house of the Lord and show them, look, this is the way. All right, we're trying to give them the warning that, hey, Esau is coming. You need to repent, all right. Because the Lord's going to send Esau to, to be his sword and fuck you people up, man. And if you repent, the Lord, his hand is, is stretched out right now to deliver you, man, and save you if you take heed. And, and like he said, his joke is light, man. It's easy. His burden is light. It, this is not a hard thing, man. It's actually a beautiful thing to follow Yahweh Bashem man. All right? It's the greatest gift that anyone could ever receive. This yeah. understanding, you know, this calling, I this ministry. That. First Peter 4 and 12 says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Yeah. What's the strange thing? Your woman leaving you. You lose your job because they, your fucking co-worker see you teaching. Uh, um, you lose friends. You lose family. All right? That's what's, these are the strange things, man. It says, But rejoice. And as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy, man. Hey, call along like y'all by Shimei All right, that we able to be, that we and, and you are able to be partakers in these things, man. Come. Why wouldn't you want to be part, uh, uh, you know? Yeah. Ain't to hell with this place. This place has nothing to offer. As a matter of fact, and this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 37, it says, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. God. And take and he that taketh not his cross and follows after me is not worthy of me. He says, He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. This place has nothing to offer. It's not saying that hey, you should hate your mother. It's saying not to hate your father because the scripture says that you should honor thy mother, thy father. All right, it's not saying to hate your family. But who are you going to serve? Are you going to serve the Lord or are you going to serve your family? Because when it comes down to it, hey, what? Because there's going to be uh, uh, in this world that all they have is just fucking uh, 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 feasts. All right, the Lord despised their fucking feast days, man. Yeah. 
All right, they, 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 all they do, uh, birthday parties, fucking all types of parties, all right? Traditions so of men. What, right. So what, you're going to go to your uh, uh, to your birthday party, your daughter's birthday party, you're going to celebrate your mother's birthday party, uh, or you going to, when it comes down to it, are you going to serve the Lord? It's not saying, hey, if you can, go ahead, because uh, you can use the world, don't abuse it. You know, go get you a plate of food and shit, why not? But if you're choosing, like, hey, I'm going to go to celebrate my uh, my daughter's birthday, but in, uh, on a Saturday when when you're supposed to go out to teach, that shit is off. Yeah, that's why the scripture says lose thy life to save it. <laughs> that, sh- that shit is very off, man. Hey. You know? <laughs> Fuck that shit. Listen, man, let the dead bury the dead, man, like the Lord <laughs> said. Fuck that noise. Then in 2 Timothy 2 and 12, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. All right, so we're going to suffer these things, man. And that's a beautiful thing because we have a reward at the end. We have to suffer, you see? We shall also reign with him. You see, we join heirs with Yahweh Shai. If we deny him, he will also deny us. All right, and you don't want that, man. You want the Lord to be like, yeah, that, that's 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 my boy right there. No, he's cool, you know what I'm saying? All right, confessing him before our Heavenly Father Yahweh, man. You see? This is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 12. Yeah, and all that will live godly in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, shall suffer persecution. All right, so we're going to go through shit. You see? And we're going to be persecuted. We're going to be, you know, uh, you know, taken to, you know, certain uh, officials or whatnot and or judges. All right, all to be witnesses of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All these things were, were told to us. All right? The Lord told us that we wouldn't be uh, offended in Him, man, and we're not, man. We love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He gave us the way, man. He is the way, the truth, and the life, man. You see? We're trying to be delivered. All right, we're trying to amend our, our wicked past, all right, our, our, our sins that we've committed. We, we like King David, we acknowledge our sins, man. They, they're before our face every day, man, all right? This is not a thing of getting proud or anything. You got to be humble in this thing and be sincere, you see? We all fucked up. We all deserve death, man, you see? And, and on top of that, we're getting a light affliction, all right? Being on the cargo slave ships, being whipped by Esau, all right, getting the rape robbed and murdered constantly looking over our shoulder because of these damn devils is a light affliction man it could have been much worse man now we're at the end we have Yahweh we know who we are we have the name you see hey man and, and that's why we rejoice but, but the hell with all this sh- this other shit man we gained and won Yahweh Shai man and he overcame death and greater is he who's in us than those ni- these niggas in the world man all right, Yahweh Shai is with us. And, he's, and he says he's always going to be with us, even unto the end. He's going to guide us. Fear not, thou worm Jacob. You see? That's right. The Lord's going to fight for us, man. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Yes, rock if for you're not striving, yeah. what makes you think the Lord's going to fight for you? Right, so you got to be fighting this flesh. That's right. You know, you got to put it off, all, all these fucking pleasures and the things your flesh wants to do. Fight this motherfucker fast and pray always, man. All right, pray always. That's a form of spiritual power. We are connected to the living power, the power that created heaven and earth. We are a direct uh, connect, man, a direct line to the Lord. We have that, man. So pray constantly, man, and endure. You see, so that Lord willing, you can be saved, you and your household, and all those that hear you. You know, if that's the case, because some of us may lose our whole household. All right, but that's the cost to gain Yahweh Shine. We understand that. All right. And with that, you know, get all get understanding with everything, of course, you know, like the scripture says. That's right. Hey, Amen. To hell with this world. Hey, 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 the scripture says that you should be hated by my, for my name's sake. By all men. And so if you being yeah. hated, yeah, you're doing something right. Yeah. So you being something in this world, then shit, hey, you got to examine thyself, man. Don't be scared. Don't be scared to lose your family. Don't be scared to lose your children. Don't be scared to lose your job. Don't be scared to lose your life for the Lord. Right. Yeah, when these things come, you know, rejoice because you're doing, you know, you're suffering it for the Lord's sake, man. So rejoice, man. You know, these people, is, it's a, it's a rude. These people are are in for a rude awakening. Yeah, that's why they, that that in that day they're gonna look for that man that lost his life to serve the Lord. Yup, yeah. it tells you in Psalms one ten three, in, in the day of thy power, thy people shall be willing, or thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, Sakya. Right. Um, and that day is coming too. Because all these things that are written in the scriptures are going to come to pass. 
Yes, we're going to go through a little hell, Jacob's trouble, but hey, Jeremiah 37, we're going to be saved out of it, man. Right. All right, we're going to give spiritual powers. Those that wait upon the Lord, we're going to mount up with like 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 eagles with wings, man. All right, we're going to be healing. Hey, like that, what I quoted was Isaiah 40 in the last verse 31. And then Yahweh Shai also said that all these things that I've done, you are going to do and greater, man. All right, the Lord was healing people. He was turning water into wine. He was walking on, on water itself. Okay? You, you, you guys don't understand Yahweh Bashim Yahweh You don't understand what's coming. And he's going to show his power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to show his power through his men, man. His elect. And that's why Isaiah 4 and 1 uh, and, and Zechariah 8 and 23. You know, seven women shall take hold of one man. And ten men shall hold the skirt of him that is a Jew. Why? Because they're going to know that the power is dealing with, with us, man. You see, and they're, and they're gonna want to. They're gonna want to have that hedge. They're they're gonna be protected and safe, and they want to be fed too. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, because we're gonna have enough goat's milk for our maidens. You know, enough. You know, for, and, uh, you know, and the people with us, and, and we're gonna have uh, abundance. And none of the heathen are gonna be able to do nothing against us. You know. And don't it, expect the shit. It's like I was about to no, say. Just don't it. expect. Don't expect it if you're not ready to lose that life. Right. All these things, don't expect all these things if you, you if you know damn well you wasn't ready to lose that life for the Lord, man. God. You know, and then, you know, you when you think about it, think about the scriptures, man. Uh, think about the men of old, our forefathers, man, like Job. All right? Ah, man, Look, on. yeah, I think like two in his head. None of them were confounded, you see? That's oh, why... You, you, yeah, get, no, that's what I said. Yes, yeah, rock two and ten. That's it, brother. <laughs> Yo, go ahead, read it, brother. This rock two and ten says, "Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in His fear and was forsaken? For whom did He ever despise that called upon Him?" Yeah, that's why, like in the Book of Acts two and uh, like twenty one and twenty two, you know, it's, it basically says, "Ye men, hear these words. Ye men of Israel." Hear these words, man. This is again for you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians. Trust Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. Alright? Trust in the Lord, all right? You would not be confounded. The Lord would not let you down, man. Alright? He is he's a man that shouldn't that cannot lie. He cannot lie, man. He's not gonna he's not gonna he's not gonna send us off like some people. Alright? The Lord got us, Joe. You see that? Because he loves us. We love the Lord because he loved us first, man. Out of all the billions of Israelites on this earth, he chose us to be near him. Do you see that? That's right. I got Job 2 and 9. It says, Then said his wife unto him, Does thou still retain thy integrity? Yes, bitch. Curse the Most High and die. This is, man. This, this is when Job was at his lowest, right. man. Right. And when you're at that, when you're low like Job, take it cheerfully That's and right. and be and be waiting for your change, man. Your change is gonna come. The Lord is gonna deliver you, man. That's when right. you least expect it, you know, because uh, uh, in, in our weakness we are strong because of Yahweh Shai, man. You see, and it's all because of the Lord, man. That's right. He cut the shit out of her too. He said, verse ten says, but he said unto her, thou speakest as one of the foolish women. Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What shall we receive good at the hand of the Most High, and shall we not receive evil? Mm. And all this did not Job sin with his lips. Job kept his integrity, man. You, that's what was wrong with a lot of people. That's why they're gonna learn death by pain because they don't have any integrity. They can't. They, they don't have no backbone, man. These people are, no. are, 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 they're dead, man. Oh, absolutely. They're already dead. Yeah. And now they're just right. Yep. Now they're just gonna learn death by pain, man. Kind of, cause they get a little hell when they when they come to serve the Lord. You know, in Isaiah fifty nine. Can you grab it real quick? Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah fifty nine and fifteen. Yeah, truth faileth, and all of them that you know make himself a prey. All right, because you know they soon they get a little persecuted, a little hell. They start bitching and complaining and not realizing, man, this 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 is what you know we deserve this, man. Yeah. And this is the cause, especially serving the Lord. All right, this is going to come. This is Lamentations 3 and 39. Wherefore does a living man complain? A man for the punishment of his sins? You know, question for him. We deserve worse than this, man. All right, but now that we came to serve the Lord, yes, we're going to be a prey. Those of our own household are going to be our foes, man. They're going to be our enemies, man. Our loved ones, those that we grew up with, are going to be against us. Why? Because we're serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And the scriptures tell you time and time again, you know, 
That's why you got to be in these scriptures, man. Come learn of the Lord, man. Come learn the fear of Yahweh about Shimei This is Isaiah chapter 59, verse 15 says, Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil making himself a prey. And the Lord Yahweh saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And he saw that there was no man, and wondered that there was no inter in intercessor. Therefore his arm brought salvation unto him, and mm. his righteousness it sustained him. For he put for he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and the clad with zeal as a cloak. Mm. According to their deeds, according he will repay fury to Ooh. his to his adversaries, yep. recompense to his enemies, to the island he will repay to so like to the islands he will repay recompense. Yep. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Right, and that word standard is to, to put to flight, you know. He's gonna, he's gonna, the Lord's gonna, I don't know how, how we're gonna, how, we don't know how he's gonna do it, but we know we're gonna be delivered. When Esau Edom's coming, because he's coming to put us in concentration camps, he's coming to get us. Hey, but the Lord is waiting, man. The Lord, the, the angel encampeth around those that fear the Lord and delivereth them, man. And and that's that's Psalms 34 and 7. What that scripture says, uh, Reference Paraphrase, he says, uh, he didn't give us the spirit of fear. That's uh, 2 Timothy uh, uh, 1 and 7, I think. Let me see. Don't fear that, because Esau with the concentration camp and oh, man, if you take your, uh, and That's fucking, it, yeah. yeah. Buckle down to Esau. Hell no, man. Hey, fear the Lord. Don't fear man. Fear the Lord. Right. This is 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For most I had not given us the spirit of fear, but the power and of but of power and of love and of a sound mind, man. That's hey, it. call along like y'all about to Hey, shot. we shit, we waiting for E to push that button. You know, hey, but we, hey, cause at the end of the day, cause we trust in the Lord. God. These people are scared. These people don't want this place to end. They, cause they fear, they fear man. They don't fear the Lord. They can't see these things being dissolved. They shit, they continue to build. Right. This is first period three and thirteen to back you up. And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good, man? So who is this nigga Esau, man? The basis of all men, he ain't shit, man. Yes, he is the Lord's sword, but we have the ultimate sword, man. We have Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? And starting with this truth, this word right here, Hebrews 4 and 12, that's why what? They're coming for the Bibles and guns. You know, they had to put Bibles in there because the guns, you know, are weightier than the, uh, I mean, the, the, the Bible is weightier than these guns, man. These guns could jam up on you, all right? This sword right here just keeps cutting you, man. This is the Lord, the, the, the word of the Lord here. All right? Look, Esau Edom's coming for us, man. But but we're going to dwell in safety, man. All right? And quietly, you see? The Lord's going to do miraculous things for us. For his elect, Lord willing, we're a part of that number. All right? Again, this is Yahweh Shai speaking Luke 18 and 7. And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth, you know? And that's why faith is a gift. And that's why we're seeking those that are like us, you see? Because uh, faith isn't given to everybody. Two-thirds, they don't have it, man. Because they heard this gospel, but it wasn't mixed with faith. So it didn't profit them anything, you see? And that's why we do all these things for the elect's sake, man. We deal with two-third knucklehead niggas uh, every week, all right, on the line, on the comment boards. You know what I mean? In our in our you know Clark Kent lives, you know what I'm saying? When we're in the world, you know, slavery or the supermarket, whatever the hell we're doing, we gotta walk in wisdom. And but this conversation that we hear around us, the shit that we see around us, these transformers and all this, this new generation, that shit is all a vexation, man. All right, but our faith and our trust is in Yahweh Shai, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and that's why we do the work, we do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He told us to go out to the highways and byways and compel them to come in, man. All right, and doing so, we're gonna look crazy to everybody else, man, and we're gonna we're gonna lose a lot of people, man. And that's the point of this lesson: is be prepared to lose everybody that you know in this in this so-called life, man, because it is gonna be dissolved, man. All right, the body that you're in right now is not gonna be the body that goes into the chariot. 
we're going to get new bodies, man. You know, extraterrestrial bodies, man. You see? But we got to wait on the Lord. We got to be doing His will. We got to have faith in doing it, man. You know, it takes faith to call on the name of Yahweh Shai. It takes faith to be on the highways and byways and pushing this word week in and week out. It takes faith to please the Lord. And I, yeah, and without faith, it's hard. It's you can't please. Yeah, it's impossible to please the Lord, you see? So you got to have faith in works, man. And, and, and you know, you can count the cost too because. You know, you're going to lose a lot of stuff along the way, man. Yeah. But remember that you're gaining the Lord. That's right. You see? out of the Again, out of all the billions of Israelites, because we're like the sand of the sea, out of all the billions of Israelites, the Lord is calling you yeah. to come into the fold, man. Hey, and with that, we hope this lesson was edifying. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakurash. The bonds to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth and salutations to all the Akim pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom. And a Baba Ball. Exactly. Baba Ball. <laughs>